Hello Leo, welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for the month of May. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this month we're going to be doing things a little bit different. Uh, as you notice, I do not have the visual. I am only doing audio this month. I am working on a couple of other projects and um, I will also be traveling. So I did not have the opportunity to do the uh, proper recordings. So I'm just gonna be doing the audio this month. And because I'm not gonna have a lot of time to do the weeklies, I'm breaking down this monthly's reading by pulling out five different cards, one for each week of the month. And we'll be getting overall energies obstacles and how to navigate through that and then we'll finalize the reading with uh with a message from the universe and then additional message okay that is how we will be working this particular month so and i will be at the end of the video you'll see that each um or well, during the video actually you'll see that each week will be time stamped so that you're able to come back to it uh, during that particular week. All right, my dear ones, let's take a look at your overall energy for the month. Your overall energy for the month is education. Number 35. And I'm getting the sense that this isn't just about education, about learning, you know, via books. Yes, for sure. Learn something. If you're working on something or you're trying to improve yourself, absolutely. Whatever it is, whether it's a relationship or a business or, you know, starting a business, you know, yes, absolutely. Go learn something. Go read a book. Go on a YouTube channel. Learn something new. Go on Reddit. Go, um, whatever all of that is incredibly helpful but also surround yourself by people that are in the know because i feel like those are the people that are going to give you lessons that that maybe you're not able to find in a book or maybe you will find in a book but you don't comprehend as well or you would not comprehend as well as if somebody told you all right or it doesn't sit as well. And that's what I'm getting for the overall energy for the month of May. For the first week, we have the nine of wands, the four of wands, and the four of cups. Very interesting. Um, wow. So here's what I'm getting. I feel like, I feel like it's been an uphill battle, but I feel like you, you've made huge, huge gallops forward is, is what I'm seeing here. It's like you've made huge, um, progress is really what I'm seeing here. And I feel like, and I feel like those, those progress that, that you have accomplished, I feel like they have come at a cost to you. It's like, it, it's like you've been, learning as you go and and it's like you're like like if you're learning a, a new um a new person that if you're a new relationship or you know a new career or whatever this is it's like you've had your bumps and bruises but you've learned from them but because you have learned from them you're in a better position to move forward okay that's what i'm seeing here um, with the nine of wands, we have the four of wands as a possible, um, obstacle, but I'm really not necessarily seeing this as an obstacle. Uh, and here's the reason why, because the four of wands is really about laying a solid foundation. And I feel like that's what you have done with the past, or at least that's what you're trying to do with all the lessons that you have learned. Now, the four of wands can also be about, um, 
like creativity and, and maybe you're more in your mind versus learning something, you know, like actually learning it and instead of winging it. But that's really the only thing that I'm getting. Overall, I feel like this is just you laying a solid foundation. So I'm not necessarily seeing an obstacle here. And then how you can overcome if this were an obstacle for you um, and how you can navigate this this week is really focusing. Making sure that you are focused on the overall not just on one thing. So for instance, what that would look like is if you are so focused on making something work with a person, make sure, and funny enough, in the education and in the Four of Cups, they both have a book. Make sure that you have all of your information before you move forward. Right. If, if this is in business, make sure that you have all of your information before you move forward. Make sure you cross all your T's, dot all of your I's. Right. If you have uh, if you're in a relationship, make sure something doesn't go unnoticed. This is what this is talking about. In week two. We have the four, funny. We have the four of cups, the nine of wands and the ten of cups. Wow. Very, very interesting how things have flipped. All right, what I'm getting here is for week two is really, really you focusing on, overly focusing on something. All right here we talked about making sure, you know, you, you pay attention to everything. That's what we talked about with the four of cups down here. And, and this is kind of reiterating, it's, it's kind of bringing it back along in week two. Making sure that you don't miss something. And it is, is really what I'm getting here with the nine of wands. Um, I just feel like you might be so tired that you might have missed it because it's the obstacle right? So maybe you might be in the mindset of regret. Um, and because you're in there, you know, lamenting over something or, you know, you know, being all down and out about, you know, not being where you need to be at this point in your life or whatever, or, you know, maybe you've been working on this new business for, you know, two years and you haven't really gone very far instead of focusing on that, the nine of wands as, as far as the obstacle, you know, the obstacle in this particular situation, which is the nine of wands, this is talking about maybe you just being weary, be, being exhausted. It's just like, you know what? I'm tired of this, right? But how to overcome this? We have the 10 of cups. Really what this is about is focus on the good. Focus on the good. Look how far you have come. What you know now, you didn't know then. And you've made huge strides. Are you where you wanted to be when you first started off? Probably not. But you are further along than where you first started. But you have to keep putting in the effort. You have to keep learning. You can't just keep winging things. Okay? Uh, week three, we have the star, the queen of cups, and the hanging man in reverse. And... For week three, what I'm really seeing is about hope. Uh, I'm really getting the sense that you, you get this revived feeling of hope in, in this relationship or in this business or whatever that is. Like, you know what? I'm claiming my hope. I am going to have this new inspiration, this new sense of renewal to keep moving forward. Um, and you, quite obstacle is, which I really don't see as an obstacle, is the Queen of Cups. And this is about taking action. Uh, the Queen of Cups is, you know, somebody that thinks before they move forward. You know, they, they feel things, not necessarily just think, but they feel things. 
Um, how, how do I move forward with this? Right? So sometimes logic gets in the way. Sometimes our feelings get in the way. This is saying that could be the obstacle. Don't overthink. Don't overfeel. Try to find that balance and hang on to that hope. All right. How to navigate through this? We have the hanging in in reverse. This is saying, stop waiting. Just go do. You know, I'm getting a full energy. Um, stop waiting. Go and learn something. Go do something that's going to um, move you ahead. That's going to keep you keep you in the know is what I'm getting here. You can't just try to manifest some, uh, this just came to me. Um, don't try to just manifest your way into doing something. You still have to do the work. Okay. Um, week four, we have the two of swords, two of pentacles and the magician. By week four, what I'm seeing is that the, you're, I feel like you're torn. Do you continue doing this or do you not do this? You know, I feel like you're divided. How do I move forward? You know, I, I, you're, I feel like your emotions are all over the place. I, I feel like meditation is needed badly here. Like you need to be grounded uh, my dear Leo, what is an obstacle? Um, the two of pentacles, which is, you know, making decisions, um, weigh, like weighing things out. And I feel like this is just you juggling two different ideas. And when really there isn't just two ideas, there's a third option. Stop this whole duality thing and stick to what it is you want to do, follow that feeling and move forward. Because we have the magician here as the possible um, outcome or uh, how to navigate through this. And this is, you have all of the elements. You're able to create this. You're able to make the right decisions with all of the facts that you have, but you're not seeing them for what they are. That's what I'm seeing here uh, for you, my dear Leos. For week five, we have the hangman in reverse. Wow, that's twice we have the hangman in reverse. Very interesting. And the eight of cups and the five of pentacles. All right, so what I'm seeing here is... <sighs> I'm torn between discontentment and impulsiveness is really what I'm getting here. I'm getting a lot of negative patterns. And not only, not only am I getting that from this hangman, I'm seeing it with the nine of wands that we have twice, the four of cups that we have twice, the uh, hanging man in reverse that we have twice. I, I, I just feel like... Uh, I feel like you're running on a hamster wheel is what I'm seeing. It's like you're go, 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 determined, 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 but you're not going anywhere. And I feel like that causes a lot of frustration for you. And the possible, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the possible hurdle for you or obstacle this week is the Eight of Cups, which is about change, you know, moving forward. And if you've been working on something for so long and it it is working, but you haven't really put forth the effort, then that could be a huge mistake. And you're probably sitting there like, how dare you tell me that I'm not putting forth the effort? Well, Leo, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying what the cards are saying. Um, I Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to tell you what the cards are saying. If you are putting forth the effort, then this reading is not for you. You can disregard this part. However, if you're not putting forth the effort, right? And sometimes in life, sometimes we think we're putting forth the effort, but really we aren't. 
So that's also something to consider. So for instance, that could look like, oh, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm cleaning up, right? Let's just, for instance, uh, I'm cleaning up around the house. But really, what you're just doing is picking up. You're not cleaning up, you're picking up. Picking up and cleaning up are not the same thing. So picking up around the house would be picking up a couple of, you know, misplaced clothes um, and, and things of that nature, right? Cleaning is a thorough clean, you know, putting stuff away, making sure your bed's made, making sure that it, the floor is swept and mopped and dishes are, are cleaned and put away and, and laundry is done and, and the bathroom is done and, and the, and the toilets are done and, and all of that nature, right? Everything, right? You really have taken each room in the house and really cleaned or apartment or whatever that dorm, whatever that looks like for you versus picking up is kind of straightening up a little bit, but then shoving everything else in that, um, oh shit drawer, you know, like, oh crap, I have no real space to put this and just, I'm just shove it in there. Right. Or your oh shit, um, room, right. Where you just throw things in there. It's like, oh, I'm just going to stuff it in there. I'll deal with it later. One is not the same as the other. So take that how it resonates. Um, how to work with this energy. We have the five of pentacles. Sometimes you really have to step outside of your situation and really recognize it for what it is. Okay. Because sometimes we feel like we're, we're left out in the cold, but we're like, well, why were we left out in the cold? You know, but then when you ask advice for somebody else, they'll tell you, well, it was because of X, Y, Z. Sorry, all my cards just decided to fall out. You know, and then it, you know, it gives you a different perspective. You're like, oh, well, I hadn't thought of that, right? So this is, this five of pentacles is really asking you to step outside of your own point of view and take a look at it from a different perspective. If you are unable to, then go ask somebody. Go ask somebody, hey, what do you think of my business venture? Like when I started from where I am now, how do you feel like that's, like have you, you know, and show them what that looks like. And then they can give you their personal opinion but of course, don't just go to jo some Joe Schmo. Go to somebody that knows what they're doing, all right? Somebody you feel is worthy, right? Um, or you can even have extra goals and say, oh, you know what? Um, I'm going to put a comment on my YouTube channel and ask for comments and say, hey, how do you think I'm doing? Where can I improve? And blah, blah, blah. Things of that nature, Okay. If you're not improving in a relationship, ask your partner, you know, I'm doing this. What is it that I'm doing that you feel like I need to do? So you can get honest feedback. If you don't want to do that, ask uh, somebody who's been in a very successful relationship. Don't ask somebody who's been breaking up um, every other weekend, all right? They obviously don't know what they're doing. But ask somebody who has been in a steady relationship and ask them, are, what do I need to do? Like what, this is what's going on in my relationship. What do I need to do? That way you have a, a secondary outsider's point of view so that you're able to move forward, all right? And you can get a different perspective, all right? Um, universe message, we have the weaver. The weaver to me is about you creating what, you want to create, you are able to create whatever it is you want, but you could also be your own worst enemy, right? Some, um, sometimes we have an energy about ourselves where specifically if, if it's cyclical, right? And, and funny enough in this Weaver card, we, we have this whole circle where it's, you know, constantly going, and it's a snake biting its own tail. And 
really what that comes down to is that you have your own, you have the power, but you're, you are your own worst enemy. You, you know, it's like you're going in this cycle of, oh, I know what I'm doing, but then you're messing it up by not correcting your actions, not, cor not correcting either you're missing uh, a step in something or you're missing or, or you have lack of education in that specific field, right? Whatever that looks like for you, I'm not calling you out. I'm just giving you the information as I see it, you guys. Additional uh, guidance, we have the Four of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Listen, sometimes you just need to take a break and see things from a different perspective because sometimes when you're in the thick of it, you don't get to really see. Sometimes you need to take a step back and say, you know what, I need to recoup from this and really take a good look at what my needs are, what I need to work on, and things of that nature. But really, it's about just taking a step back, just for a bit. It doesn't need to be for a long bit, so that you're able to come back with new energy, which is this Page of Cups, and see things from a different perspective. This Page of Cups is looking into a box, right? What tools do you have? that are good for you? What tools do you have that really don't serve you? What tools do you need? Sort those out. And then once you've put them in the right placements, get rid of the stuff that you don't need right now. And, and this is, you know, of course, the tools in your mind, you know, the tools for your business, the tools for your relationship. This is what I'm talking about, tools. I'm not actually talking about physical tools, literal tools. Sort those out. And then once you have the tools that you know, the tools that really do serve you and you've gotten rid of the tools that no longer need, and then you recognize the tools that you're missing, that's when you could go, all right, I can move forward with this Knight of Swords and I can build now with this Knight of Swords. I can learn what I'm missing. I'm, I'm able to get rid of the stuff that no longer serves me in regards to this particular situation. And I know what does work, right? But in order to do that, you need to take a step back and take a moment and really analyze, all right, this is, you know, analyze the situation, you know, the relationship, the, the business, whatever this looks like, and say, all right, I understand what's working, what isn't working, all right, what tools do I have? Now I'm able to move forward, all right? That's what I see here for you, Leo. It looks like it's a bit of a bumpy month, but if you're able to work with yourself and step outside of yourself and learn from your mistakes, then you're able to keep moving forward because I feel like you've already learned a lot. And I don't think that you should really necessarily give up on something if you've already put so much time and effort. Now, granted, if you have gotten absolutely nowhere and you have zero desires to do anything, then yeah, you might as well give up, right? I mean, I hate to say that, but what's the point in doing something if you're not putting forth the effort, you know? Everything feels so much better when we've worked for it because it's like, yes, I did that. I worked for that. All right, that's what I see here for you, Leo. I hope something in here did resonate. If it did, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Remember, anytime uh, that subscribe button is hit, there's an energy exchange and I'm able to pick up on your energies a lot better. Not only that, if this um, reading did not resonate for you, please go check out your sun, moon, raising signs. That might also give you a better uh, image of what is going on with your life in the month of May. All right, my dear ones, I hope you have yourself an amazing month. Until we meet again, bye.